Hi, and welcome into the Pittsburgh Steelers Blitz. I'm Dustin Hawkinsmith. Looking ahead to week one of the regular season. This is not a drill. NFL regular season football is coming up Sunday afternoon for Pittsburgh. They go to Cleveland for a week one matchup against the Browns. On paper, a cakewalk type game for the Steelers. They're coming off a big season, a proven offense, proven defense. Cleveland, meanwhile, 0 and 16 last season. They kept Hugh Jackson, their coach, around. They did, went a lot. Uh, they went all out in the offseason, free agency, and the draft to get a lot of new faces, new key pieces for them. So it's a tone-setting game for the Steelers. It's also a tone-setting game for the Browns as they look to sort of climb the ladder in the AFC North. It's been a busy offseason for the Browns. Also pretty busy recently for the Pittsburgh Steelers with the news. Le'Veon Bell, their star running back, might sit out for a portion of the season. As of right now, it looks like week one is included in that. We'll see if he comes around by Sunday or not. All right, Brown Steelers scheduled for a 1 p.m. Eastern time kickoff Sunday in Cleveland. It's worth noting the weather forecast could get a little dicey on Sunday afternoon. Temperatures could dip into the 60s with a chance of rain. Lake Erie could give the Browns a little assist in that matchup. Steelers, as of midweek, a four-point favorite going into the game. All right, as for what's different with both of these teams in 2018 versus last year, I touched on it earlier. Cleveland has improved. Pittsburgh going on the road to start the year in a little bit of a state of limbo on the offense. They practiced all training camp, all preseason without Le'Veon Bell. So if he does not play at Cleveland, James Conner is looking to probably get the start at running back. And they've said nothing but good things about him so far. Whether he'll be ready or not will impact the Steelers game plans, their offense in particular. Tyrod Taylor will start at quarterback for the Browns. It should be only a matter of time before Baker Mayfield, their talented rookie, Starts to take over that job. For now, Taylor, the veteran, comes in. Jarvis Landry was brought in as a weapon in free agency. Denzel Ward was drafted also high in the first round. So Cleveland adding some key parts to this offense and on the defense as well. There might also be a Josh Gordon sighting. The trouble wide receiver was very talented, has dealt with a hamstring injury. He also spent a lot of time away from the team in training camp. All right, out of all these ingredients, it could be a really interesting matchup in the AFC North to start the 2018 season. Steelers, Browns, Sunday in Cleveland. Jacob Klinger joins us now to tell us what he'll be watching for in this match. Steelers essentially opened their last season playing this game, playing a bad Cleveland Browns team in week one. They did so, however, with Le'Veon Bell. It does not look like they will do so in week one of 2018. It's a few days before the game, and he is not at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex key to the Steelers winning that game will be winning the turnover battle, keeping the ball out of the hands of Carlos Hyde and Nick Chubb. We've all seen a Todd Haley offense manage or mismanage a clock as he did with the Pittsburgh Steelers from time to time. However, if Ben Roethlisberger loses track of the ball himself, I think the Steelers can lose this game and I think they will. All right, thank you, Jacob. My two cents here. I've got the Steelers winning at 30 to 24. We'll call it a narrow cover if the Steelers do go off the board as a four point favorite in this game. We'll see what happens. Enjoy the game and be sure to check back in with us on your Pittsburgh Steelers Blitz.